This agreement shall terminate two years from this day unless extended or sooner terminated, which we all plan on this being extended from there on and having several more phases. I know Jason has two phases already in the works and we already have applicants coming through the pipeline. So I'm sure he plans to extend this for indefinitely. And that's, that's what we're hoping for this one. With that being said, if I could get you to sign, that's the director. What was going through your mind, Jason, when you were putting your signature on that, on that, uh, on the agreement? Honestly, it was just, just uh, so much relief. Uh, you know, it's it's. Um, I knew all along this was going to come, but with any time you're trying to do something new, there's always things that pop up. I don't call them roadblocks; I call them whack-a-mole. These little problems pop <laughs> yeah. up, and you got to whack them. Then another one pops up, and you know, and we we actually started this process in July, so it's almost a year. And so we whacked a lot of moles over the last year. And today, I felt like we finally whacked our last mole. And now we actually get to do what we know how to do very well, and that's build homes. So we're really thrilled about that. You just, had, I'm sure, just take a deep breath. And now people will be able to start seeing things that you've talked about. Absolutely. You know, there, there's this. The, it's hard sometimes to get people behind abstract ideas. So once we start building, uh, we're just thrilled about all that's going to come along with that. More exposure, more people wanting to get involved. And, and like the saying goes, many hands makes light work. And so the more people we can bring in on every side of this, more people applying for the program, more people wanting to volunteer, it just means we can do more. Um, this grant is a two-year grant. And, you know, if all goes well, I'm hoping in two years, instead of 10 years, years we you know, 10 homes we can ask for 20 and as long as we can show that we have the families and we have the need and the ability we should be able to to keep going up up and up from here on out and, and you in the past have talked about just what a, a home means economically to a locality when you talk about 10 homes and then you know maybe 20 30 40 50 down the line that's pretty substantial. Absolutely. According to the National Association of Realtors, this doesn't even count the direct expense of the home, but just in the overall community, this is like grocery stores, retail, mechanics, it, every home that's built adds about $50,000. Uh, to the local economy, so it's 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 a win-win for everybody. If someone does want to volunteer, what what's the best way to get a hold of you? It's simple. On habitatofcaroline.org, on the top of every single page is a volunteer up logo. You click on that, you register, tell us what kind of volunteer tasks you're interested in, and you'll be notified when those tasks are available. Yeah. Well, and uh, I, I know Habitat and you in particular are good at. I mean, I can come in and not have many skills, and you'll give me some skills. Absolutely. That's what. What's cool about it we we train you we teach you and by the end of the day whatever you were doing on that day you'll get to uh, you could go do it in your own home that's why things like building the decks and putting down the flooring is so the people that if you want to do that sign up early because everybody wants to learn how to do it so they can then go do it on their own house well you and I were out when uh, when you did some of the, the repair projects it's gonna be fun to now start watching homes being built in Caroline it really is it, there's nothing like when you see the start of an empty field and then, then there's a home and then handing the family the key. It really, it's just such a, a moving experience to be part of. So I'm hoping that everybody will come out for those those dedications when we have them. Well, like we say, I mean, this, this is this is really the start now. Um, you, I guess you transition into, into bigger things. Absolutely, yeah. Th this, is, this right here is, is what we're going to build our organization on. We feel the USDA has proven to be a great partner since 1969, as, as it's been said, over 50,000 homes built. So we feel like we have really been just, you know, given this amazing opportunity. In fact, this is the first time the self-help program has been in Virginia since almost 20 years. So it's just such an awesome opportunity that many people don't get. So we're thrilled about it. Well, we're thrilled to have you, and it's going to be fun watching this happen. Thank you.